Hey, welcome to a new video. I preset uh, everything, cleaned a little bit up, so it goes a little bit smoother this time. Uh, as you can see from my previous uh, video, I cleaned up the pipes, the electricity, half of the upstairs electricity, and now I'm going to try my own new method that I think maybe work may work or may not work but we will see uh, the temperature outside is five, de uh, five degrees uh, and at night it's almost at zero maybe falls below zero so I have to be a bit careful but yeah uh, my idea is to lay down the plaster but not i'm not going to use the gypsum plaster that is usually uh, used but i'm going to use uh, concrete so yeah this is my technical room and oh my god let's see what happens i'm not going to talk about much here but you get the point Yeah, the intro was a bit long, but, uh, but I wanted to say that, uh, as you can see... Yeah, whoops. This is the concrete. Uh, just mix it with water, that's it. Uh, some mixers here, some here, and I already put my water line in, so... Yay! Water comes! Ice cold, but still, who cares? It's still icy outside. Some snow left here and there. Mm, ah, there you can see some snow more. But yeah. Okay, there's snow, 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 snow. But yeah. Now off to mixing and... I don't know where to put the first camera. Let's see how this one goes. Yeah, I'm going to take some shots here as I'm starting from... Ah, come on. Okay, almost. Yeah, I can put that cable away. Maybe I can put behind this camera. Yeah, okay. Uh, the light doesn't hit the lens so hard, so this is going to be okay. So, now for fast forward. Okay, is it on camera? Yeah. <sighs> Not my proudest uh, work, but I'm going to stop here uh, because yeah, it's not going to work out uh, as. I forgot one thing, uh, this is the final floor and I want to polish it and uh, this is concrete <laughs> and the stains are insane so it's, I can't use it. I need to go to the store and buy myself cubesium and I don't know what I'm going to do with this, maybe wash it off. I don't know if that's a good idea. 
or I'm going to just leave it as it is. I need to think of a different idea how to do it easier, simpler. Yeah, I need to think of uh, something other out. I'm going to leave this as it is and maybe think of another way to finish this. But yeah, the bottom part is okay. Here I stopped and yeah. I'm going to think of uh, how a different way to finish this. I yet don't know how, but I'm going to think of a way. So, I'm going to go eat and smoke a little bit. And maybe I come up with an idea to follow this up. Okay. I figured out what I should do and how I'm going to fix my problem. But first I needed to prep the wall. Uh, it was meant to be done in the summer, but I can't wait for summer and hot weather. So I started today. Uh, almost all of my, I'll show you, my bags of concrete uh, that I had where uh, uh, how do I say it uh, stonified then uh, this isn't my best work but uh, the important part is to get the bigger holes uh, uh, fixed and to eliminate all those joint uh, spots up there spots and to get it almost uh, some sort of air tightness uh, afterwards i'm going to add the, like in the black, black layer seen on the bottom i'll paint it over so it will be uh, air tight and water tight because i can't put the uh, uh, gypsum inside because uh, the walls aren't uh, uh, waterproof at the moment so if the rain uh, falls on the wall it will uh, uh, per, uh, go through the wall and into the inside and that, uh, that will uh, fuck up the work so I did a late night job so tomorrow I can finish uh, what I started so for you in a couple of seconds for me tomorrow so it's morning late night job was quite okay still uh, wet because it's been raining almost all the night all night long uh, but I can see the improvements already uh, why I'm doing this? Because this is the technical room and I need to prep the walls so uh, I can continue. Uh, yesterday night I uh, put the uh, tape and uh, plastic over the parts that I don't want to get messed up. But yeah, as you can see here, this wall is nicely dry because it's in inside. But... This wall, on the upside, it's already dried up, but on the bottom part, I don't know if the camera picks it up. Uh, maybe here you can see. Uh, it's still a little bit wet. The concrete is wet because if rain falls, here is uh, much easier to see. Uh, Rain falls on the stone and as this stone is meant to be uh, water absorbent uh, then the water will absorb into the wall and through the wall inside as you can see uh, 
there's a mark there's a mark because rain uh, went in but the wall itself is uh, really wet and I can put plaster on it and I can't wait for summer because I'm so <laughs> I want to move on yeah but uh, today I'm going to test out if uh, my new idea works because uh, oh, this is dry uh, because uh, I want to find a solution that uh, works for me. So now let's do some gypsum plastering. So, uh, yeah, I really like this idea. Fast, simple, it hides away my building mistakes. And I really like the idea, not having everything straight like they used, at the mo uh, they used to be had. They used to have at the moment. Everything needs to be 90 degrees, 90... I really don't care. I'm loving it. A little bit paint on top. Perfect. Yeah. It's really interesting. I, uh, not in a bad sense. I really like it. It gives a little bit of uh, feel to the wall. Yeah. It's easy, it's simple, most important, I like it. And yeah, this is the first room that I'm going to use this idea. Then I'm letting it dry, uh, I'm going to fix it outside. Uh, and then we're going to paint it over and have a final vote if I'm going to do the next room with the same system or I'm thinking of nothing, uh, something new but the only downside is the mixing oh my god so I need to get my heavy equipment out and uh, I'm going to use the mixer because uh, mixing via hand is like a pain in the ass so stay tuned and I'm not going to film everything I'm going to do here uh, so I'm going to maybe I'm going I don't know yet but we will see. Stay tuned and have fun.
as long as I mix a new batch up, uh, you can see the walls are looking quite nice. A little bit color at the at that, but yeah, I'm thinking of uh, adding a second layer also on top of the first one, but uh, I don't have that much uh, gypsum at the moment, so I don't think I can even manage to get to the end because I brought uh, uh, four packs of uh, 30 kilos, so that's 120 kilograms of gypsum. Uh, I didn't know how much I needed, uh, but I don't know, maybe I'll go to the shop today and buy a little bit more, but maybe not, I really don't know yet. But uh, I like the end result. It's cheap, it's fast, I like it, what else to complain about? Uh, the hard part is I don't know yet how to get the backside done but uh, maybe I, I, I'm not even going to bother with it okay I don't think I'm going to record uh, the last parts what I'm going to do because uh, there's nothing uh, much to see other than me spraying so but I'll keep the conclusion afterwards so, have fun and see you in a bit! What I wanted to show you, uh, what's on off camera, is my refilling station. Because uh, it's clean in the ass to do it manually. So, Just wanted to show you. I'm done. I would have put a little bit more on. I have decided if I should try to put the second layer on top tomorrow because I'm not going into the, the city to buy the one pack of uh, gypsum but yeah I'm happy with the result would love to see some color here but it looks nice I'm happy that matters yeah uh, I already washed some things up, but now I have to clean everything up because it's a mess. I can show you some of the mess I made. Yeah, uh, a little bit there, 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 messy. Everything's messy, and yeah. So. Thank you, and uh, till next time when I'm going to put uh, eight of, yeah, eight. See ya, stay safe, don't get COVID, and bye bye.